This is a T-Navigator training course. We show an advanced example of how users can split up the model into arbitrary fragments and how to add a horizontal well interactively at runtime and estimate the remaining resource in the drainage area of this new well. Let's get started. Since T-Navigator in, is intrinsically parallel simulator, it automatically detects the number of CPU cores available. Let's go and check it out in the menu item parallel. Indeed, as you can see, four CPU cores are found and all of them will be used to speed up the parallel solver of T-Navigator. Let's now move on and open the test model created in Eclipse 100 input keywords format. In the nearest future, we are going to provide at least the partial support for input formats and functionality of Eclipse 300, Simg, IMAX and STARS. Once the model is loaded, let's define the borders of the model grid segment we are planning to cut out. Let's first the make the position of 3D convenient for the, the process. We can show all wells here. And invoke the profile manager by clicking on the create profile button located on the right side of the graphical window. Now we simply click through the grid blocks around the region we are going to split from the main model. Just block by block, We're going around halfway, almost done, and finished. Press OK. And now we'll switch to the item Users Cut, located at the bottom of the Maps folder. It's here. This is the place where T-Navigator allows users to create arbitrary grid blocks filters. Now I make right mouse click on the card and select Edit Map from the list. In the new pop-up window we go to the folder called Profile and press Reset. The Reset button assigns number 0 to all the grid blocks. Now for the grid blocks located inside the profile created earlier, we assign number 1 is here. When the regions are defined, let's go to the control panel on the top and press the button Split the model. OK. In the process of the automatic split, T-Navigator goes through grid blocks, folds, wells, regions and so on and distribute them between new submodels. While the grid blocks and wells are divided between submodels, things like PVT skull tables are actually duplicated. At the end of the split process, each region becomes an independent and self-sufficient model in Eclipse 100 format. Let's go and check it out. As you can see, T-Navigator allows you to open as many models at the same time as you wish, as long as your hardware allows it to do that. So we open the segment and now concentrate on this model. As you can see it's the one which we wanted to split out. Ok, let's get it in full screen. Go to pressure 2D and make like average pressure average pressure 2D map. To demonstrate that T-Navigator performs parallel calculations and load all four cores of this computer, I get on the screen Windows Performance Monitor. And do performance here. And now press Run. I also do bubble maps and streamlines. So now we are looking at the average pressure over all the vertical layers. We can see the production coming from wells. The red means oil produced. Uh, blue means water. And also we can see streamlines. Let's pause. Now press create profile button and make vertical profile through all the wells. Start here. Going through this well. Here, here. One by one, and finish here. Say OK. 
and get this view. So now let's uh, go and project the resource and the surface conditions to this uh, selected profile. To do that, we go to user maps, select map, and then in the command line, we type SO divided by B oil. So this is resource uh, divided by expansion factor times uh, four, four volume. This is what we want to see. And also weighted by pressure to express the internal energy and also extractability by permeability. So we get this uh, complex map. And now pick up the region where we want to put a new horizontal well. To add well, we hold the control key and make left mouse click on the grid block to define the first connection of the new well. In the new window, switch the type of the well from default vertical to deviated. Move it a little bit aside and continue to click through and holding control. As you can see, every click adds to the connection a new connection to the profile, a new line to the table. With about 10 connections, it makes uh, approximately 700 meters the horizontal well. Let's close, let's say add well. Select bubble maps, streamlines, and continue to run. As we can see, this well is picked up pretty nicely. It produces oil and a little bit of, of water. This is the overview of the whole profile. We can now switch to pressure. And also can see the production graphs. To get a production graph for, for, for this well, we just simply double click on this grid block and immediately get production of oil, red, and water as they show up as a function of time for each time step interactively. So you, you see the dynamic change of all the production rates. We can now switch to well profile which shows your production for each connection. So we now see oil rate and water rate for each connection of the newly created horizontal well. Let's pause and select the drainage area of this uh, new well. To do that, we go back to user's cuts, select cut, right click, edit map, go to streamlines, reset to put zero, to all the uh, to all the grid blocks, select accumulate auto update, and then simply click on this new well and apply and close. We go to 3D, and what happens? All the streamlines ejected from the new well are going through some grid blocks. The grid blocks are marked, and this effectively become counters. So, on each time step, these grid block counters actually change in the numbers. They uh, increment, and so they get this growing area around, uh, which, which, which roughly defines the drainage area of this uh, horizontal well. The colors of the 3D streamlines correspond to, to the property we switch from we switch to so for example when we go to saturation of oil the colors correspond to uh, to, to the map of uh, oil saturation when we go to saturation of water it switch to um, water saturation now let's define the remaining resource in the drainage area of the horizontal well to do that we go to users maps map select the the, the expression for the reserves and go to histogram. Now histogram shows the distribution of the reserves in the whole uh, in all grid blocks. We can now use the filter, which which forces to take into account on the gri only grid blocks which are located in the drainage area. 
Here we can read out the sum 2.5 times 10 to the fifth with in the drainage area. This is in the whole model. We can now estimate that's about 3% of the all reserves allocated in the drainage area. This concludes this exercise. We'll continue in the different parts. Thank you.